Hello. Hey, what's up? Oh, I'm doing just fine, honey. How are you doing? I'm fine. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing just fine. I'm just sitting here drinking a Red Bull and getting my wings. <laughs> what are you up to, honey? Oh, I'm just lying in bed right now talking to you. Oh. I hear, I hear you, honey. So, so tell me more about yourself. My style. Tell me about yourself. I don't have more style, depending on what came up. What's your whole style? Okay, well, uh, how long you been single, honey? About six years. How about you? Oh, oh goodness. Six I, oh, six years. Yeah, I've been single for five years now, and you said you got some kids? That's right. That's right. Okay, what? Well, tell me about your kids, honey. Mm. They're 16 and they're 7. Oh, okay. You got some young ones. So you said you work in the oil pipeline business? Absolutely. Goodness, that's a hard job. Mm -hmm. Good Lord, that must be a really hard job. Sure, absolutely. How long have you been your business, though? Oh, well, we, I've, or I have owned the Rims and Fangs Hydraulic Lift Lowrider store now for 20 years. Me and my husband owned it together, and then when we divorced, I got the business, and we make custom spinning rims and hydraulics for cars. Mm. So do you live alone? Oh, yes, I live alone now. I've got a fat, ugly sister who lives down the street, but I live all by myself. What about you? Do your kids live with you? No, not really. I live alone, too, though. Oh, so your wife died and your kids don't live with you. Where are your kids, honey? Mm -hmm. They're in Canada. They're still in Canada. Oh, they're going to school in Canada. Well, goodness, I hope they learn a lot about Canada. So you must be awful lonely. Mm -hmm. I need a very serious relationship. I don't want to rush. I don't want to be, I don't want to be focused. I don't want to rush. I don't want to be focused. And, uh, what else do I want to say about that? So I want someone serious. I don't want to be a game player. I just want to be, I just want someone serious and someone very authentic, not just a good player. Oh, honey, I'm, I want serious too. Damn roosters in the background. I'm too old to be playing around. I want a real man who's going to be with me. All right, no problem. You see how it works, though. Depends on you, though. If you got serious, I got serious deal, too. So. Do you want anybody to hate differences in me? I'm serious, honey. I'm looking for a man who wants to come and be with me. Now, I don't know if I'd be willing to move to California, but, you know, if you're willing to come and visit, maybe we can get to know each other. Now, I don't know, I don't know what your schedule's like, honey, but on Friday, we're going to have an intervention for my sister. And we're going to, um, you know, talk to her about her obsessive eating. And if you want, I mean, you're welcome to come to the intervention. You could meet me and we're going to have rice cakes and things at the party. Okay, let's see how it's going. Because I'm very busy schedule, but we can be talking and get to know each other more first. Oh, I don't yeah. rush because I've been having hot so many times. So I don't want to rush. I'll take my time. Because it's child, you know. Oh, I understand, honey, because no one wants to be hurt. I want a good, honest man. I'm not here to casually date. I'm looking for something real. Yeah, if you're wondering, so you got to take it slowly. I get to know each other more better, so we'll see how it works from there. I agree, honey. So what are you doing right now, sweetheart? 
I'm trying to, I'm trying to wash my mind and tie that. I'm trying to have to do it. Oh, you're, wa you're washing the toilet? No, I'm washing. I'm using my toothbrush. I'll wash my mouth. I oh. broke that. Oh, good. Make sure you wash and brush your teeth. It's very important because I've got all my own teeth and they sparkle in the sun. So I want my man to have nice teeth too, honey. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Let's see how it goes. So are you, you live in California, honey? Mm -hmm. If I'm not traveling because my job takes me out sometime, often sometimes travel out of the country sometimes. You have a problem with that? Oh, no, not at all. How exciting. I've only been to Mexico and I got the diarrhea, so I've never been very many places. Where and what countries do you work in, honey? I'm working, um, I'm working in the Middle East, I'm working in Europe, I'm working in Canada, I'm working in Australia. Oh. About 20 countries, though. Oh, goodness, how exciting. I've never been to Australia, but I heard they got them kangaroos made of Vegemite. So, I mean, what's your schedule like, honey? Did you want to maybe, you know, I don't know, it's so sudden, but meet up sometime? We could see, we'll see how it goes, because I have a very busy week, you know. My whole week is the entire time, but so we could see as we get along, as we talk it. Yeah, we'll see what oh goodness, you got a squeaky door. Yeah, I know it's gonna take some time to get to know each other and find out what we like. I mean, I can tell you a little bit about myself. I mean, like I said, I've been single for five years now. And, excuse me, I love to sing karaoke. I sing every Friday and I'm in a group called the Boo Bop and Beep Bops and we sing karaoke on Fridays. Do you like music, honey? Sure, I like music. Music, music is the heart, and the heart is the music. I like it. Oh, I'm a singer, honey. I've got the voice of a damn angel. What kind of music do you like? Mm, like, um, I'm gonna call it like, I like what kind of music, R&B, hip hop, rocky, reggae, stuff like that. So that's what I like for now. Oh, goodness. I love all kinds of music. In fact, I'm working on a song that I'm going to do for the karaoke competition. Uh, did you want to hear me sing a few lines? <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, good. Okay, hang on. Let's try that. Just, you know, tell me honestly because I'm a little rusty. Here we go. <laughs> there comes a time when we heed a certain call. When the world must come together as one There are people dying And it's time to lend a hand to life The greatest gift of all We can't go on pretending day by day Oh goodness That someone somewhere We'll soon make a change. We are all part of God's great big family. Oh, yeah. And the truth, you know, love is all we need, honey. We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones who make a brighter day. So let's start giving. Oh, that's enough. I feel so silly. Oh, gosh. Are you there, honey? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, good. I, I'm so silly. I feel silly. <laughs> I like that. Oh, I'm glad, honey. It's, I'm going to be singing it on Friday at the karaoke bar. No problem. So, do you are you willing to give all it takes? Are you willing to pay attention? Uh, give all it takes your dedication into the relationship and see how it works. Oh yes, honey, I'm willing to give my whole heart and my bosoms. I want to make this a real relationship. I'm too damn old to be playing games. What do you seek, honey? Do you want marriage? 
Sure. I mean, I know your other wife's dead. I just don't, I don't want to take her place. I don't want to marry it. I don't want to sound serious. So, a little one. We could be the future. We could be home together. Oh, goodness. You think your kids will accept me as their new mama? Hello. Hello, honey. Hello. I'm here, baby. Are you there, sweetheart? Hello. Oh, there you are, sweetie. I thought you ran away. I'm here. Okay. You you talk very soft, honey. I've got my, my little earphones up to a hundred. So tell me tell me about yourself, baby. I mean, what are you really looking for? Looking for in this relationship, marriage, my true understanding. Okay. Self made and um so I'm committed. No one does really committed relationship. So I'm not a playing game. Keep the real comedian world. So I was looking for. Oh, honey, you sound like a dreamboat to me. You just, you just talk so damn soft. So now, um, are you working now? Or are you? What's your plans, honey? I told you, I got an appointment. Um, I got my busy days this week. My week is tidy up, ready. So that's it for now. Okay, so you're busy this week, um, so you can't come to my fat sister Bardeen's intervention, but, you know, I was just thinking, honey, as we get to know each other, maybe you and I could meet somewhere, like we could go to the Walmart or somewhere and have some dinner at the subway. I, I don't know, honey, why well, I've been so lonely for so long. No problem with all that. We'll see how it goes. Time will tell. Oh, yes, time will always, always reveal the truth, honey. I believe in that so much. Good Lord, I hope that you turn out to be my future husband. Let's so for the best, and let's get to know each other more. Let's develop the chemistry and the, uh, the passion and the love together first. Oh, I love passion, honey. I love that passion punch. <laughs> so... I mean, tell me a little more about yourself, baby cakes. What what do you like to do? What's your hobbies? And do you like shrimp? I like going to shopping a lot, traveling a lot, going to beach. I like going to watch football, so that's what I like listening to. I'm an indoor person sometimes. Oh, I love the beach. I don't live near a beach, but I went one time and I fell in the sand and got seaweed all over my hair. I'd love to hold your hand on the beach, honey. Good. That's all right. We'll see. Okay, we'll see. You sound awfully tired, sweetheart. Mm, yeah, I've been, you know, since I came back, I just want to be a friend of mine to introduce me to check the site, so I'm just a name. And you're the first person I talk to, so I don't want to play the game, so. I'm not playing no damn games, honey. Because I've been hurt, I've been hurt so many times, though. Well, I've been hurt too, sweetie. I, I've been on one date since I've been divorced, and that was with Earl down at the Quickie Flip. And good Lord, that man, he didn't know what he wanted. He couldn't decide between me or Trina from the Taco Hut. And I told him, honey, I want a man. I don't want a little boy. So I want a man who knows what he wants. How long have you been divorced? I've been divorced for five years now. Huh. Let's we'll see. I just want all your attention, all your time, attention, committed, commitment, and self made love, you know. Then we'll see how it goes from there, you know. I don't want game player. I just want the real stuff, the real deal, you know. Oh, honey, I want the same. I don't want no damn game player. I'm too damn old, like I said. I want a man who's going to be honest, faithful, honest, and committed. Mm -hmm. I don't go to Facebook. I don't go to Facebook. I don't like Facebook. I like myself. I like being myself. I like being real. So that's a, that's a real deal. Go by self, you know. 
Oh, yes, honey. I like being real, too. I mean, I joined the, the site to try and find me a man, and I so far ain't found a good one. But, good Lord, I feel deep within my belly that you, it's not gas, you a real good man. I think, I think you could be the one, honey. I just love talking to you. Well, time will tell. Just need to stay by the track and see how it goes. Oh, yes, honey. Time will tell. Well, look, honey, um, like I said, if you want to meet up at the Walmart and get a sandwich, you just let me know. And I know you in California. Where in California do you live, sweetie? Are you in Oakland? Oh, Oakland. Good Lord. My sister-in-law. La Fonda, she lived in Oakland, and she said it's a great town. It's full of wonderful people. I've never been to California, so maybe I should come and visit one day. <laughs> maybe we'll see. All right, honey. Well, you just you sound awfully tired, so I'm I'm gonna let you get some rest. No problem. All right, honey. Well, it was good to talk to you. I hope we can talk again soon. You call me anytime. I'm hoping you could call me anytime. I want to stay and hoping to you if you want to come. I just wanted to be serious and be ready to well and commit to what we're doing. Well, honey, I, I'm committed if you're committed. I mean, what do you want to do, honey? Do you think I could be the one? Mm -hmm. well, if you think we go, we go together. So, be telling you now. I'm hoping. Well, I'm hoping you're the one too, sweetie. I'm tired of being alone. Okay. So, how long have you been with a man? How long have you been on bed with a man? Oh, honey, I've been, I've been alone for five years, so it's been a long damn time. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes then. All right. We'll see what happens, honey. Uh, I just want you and commit it like our time in, you know. So talk day and night, give us our dedicated time. We don't have to go to the internet again, you know, to be a and give us their time in. Emailing each other every day, every night, and see how it goes. You know, we can just you know, be trying. We just know we have to make it real, though. Oh, I agree, honey. We need to talk constantly so we can really get to know each other. Cause I don't know a lot about you yet. I mean, I I don't know if you like to dance or if you like the shrimps. Okay, Let's see. You're you're a very quiet man, honey. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So, I mean, what, what, tell me a little more. I mean, I'm trying to learn about you, honey. I mean, what, what are you into? Let's, let's learn about each other. What do you want to know about me? I don't know, honey. I mean, um, do you like to dance? Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Okay, and now do you live in your own home or do you live in, where do you live, sweetheart? I live in my place. Okay, and uh, you, oh, I own my own double wide home. It's on 57 and a half acres and my home is paid for and I've got a car, I've got a Toyota Tundra. So I'm I'm all set here, honey. So I mean, if if we're serious about this, I mean, I'd rather you come here because I've got my business and I own my own home. All right, we'll see how it goes. So you have to be planning to us everything, you know. Yep. We'll have to see how it goes, sugar. I mean, you know, we we need to get to really know each other. I I think we can, you know, see if we have that chemistry in person. Okay. All right, honey. All right, no problem. 
Well, sounds wonderful. Well, I, I'm going to go ahead and probably go to bed now, but I'll go ahead and send you a message. And if you change your mind and you want to come Friday for my sister's intervention, let me know and I can make arrangements for you to come out. All right, no problem. What can I ask you something right now? Sure, honey. Um, I want to close. I want you and I to stop going to the site. I believe we could be talking on the phone and email each other. So since we've found what we're looking for, so we need to like act right off and we need to pay attention and stay focused on what we want and how we want it. You know. So we don't need to be going to the site again since we've found what we want and what we needed. So Okay. So you can text me, email me, then from there we take it off. We need to be serious about it. Okay, so you want me to go off the site and delete my profile? Are you there? Did you run away again? Are, are you there, honey? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you disappeared on me. So now you want me to delete my profile? Yeah. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll go ahead and delete my profile. Honey, I'm just wondering, your work schedule, are, are you really busy on Friday? Because I'd love for you to come to my sister's intervention. I'm looking at my schedule now. I'll live tomorrow. Well, well, you let me know, honey, because I can come and pick you up at the airport if you want. And, you know, I, you can welcome to stay in my basement for a couple days. All right, no problem. All right, well, you just let me know and I'll arrange everything. All right, text me an email. Text me an email right now so that I will send you an email and you respond back to my email then. Okay, honey. All right, honey. I'll go ahead and, and respond to your text, and we'll go from there, sweetie. Does that sound good? Yeah, good, good. Just text me your email address. We can talk on the email side, and we can talk on the text on the phone side, too. So we don't, need, we don't have to go to the side again. Okay. So are you willing to commit it to you and me 100% relationship attention? Oh, absolutely. I'm willing to commit 100% to you, sweetheart. Do you meet anyone so far? Have you met anyone every single time with somebody? No, I've not met anybody off the side. All these men keep sending me pictures of their damn cucumbers. I've not met a good man yet, so I'm hoping you a good one. All right, we'll see you then. We'll work it out then. All right, honey. Why don't you give me a kiss? Oh, goodness. You're a good kisser, honey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no problem. Give me one to the bell. All right, sweet. Well, I'll talk to you soon, and I'll send you a text message. All right. All right. All right, babe. All right. Good night, sweetie pie. So the scammer ended up asking us for a little over $700 for gas money so he could drive his car to our house and come and see us on Friday. The payment details led to a man in Oakland, California, who the scammer claims has been picking money up for him for the last four years and is an associate friend of his. We were unable to find the real face behind this fake profile, but the scammer is definitely working with other victims or money mules who are willingly picking the money up for him on his behalf. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and if you need help, our inbox is always open on Facebook under Scamming Scammers Action. We'll see you next time. Bye.